hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is jimima today i'm going to be talking to the pioneer medical student if you're in the first set second set third set of your medical school this video is certainly for you if that's what you're here for let's get started for those who do not know i'm in the second set of medical students in my medical school and <laughs> i've gone through so many challenges if you're about to apply for a medical school where you're the pioneer set you're the first set you're the second set or you're the third set you need to have a lion's heart you need to have a strong heart you need to prepare yourself for what is going to happen just know that you are a lab rat when i say lab rat they'll do a lot of uh, trial and error with you so many policies will spring up from nowhere policies that may be favorable to you and maybe unfavorable oh that one your school is just trying to see how things will run they will use you guys as lab rats prepare for a lot of uncertainties don't keep your graduation date on top of your head it's most especially for those who are in public medical schools if your school tell you you're graduating 28 march 2025 don't keep it in your mind that that's your graduation date have an open mind because something can happen and that date will not be feasible just prepare your mind ahead of time you don't have a definite graduation date at all then another very important thing you should prepare your mindset for is for a lot of delays you will go through a lot of delays your school is yet to get full accreditation if you don't know anything about all the accreditation protocol all it takes for a new medical school to become fully accredited i'll put the link of the video up for you you have to see that video so that you understand the steps if your school miss any step or fails any step that is extra delay for you extra at least six months delay for you not to talk about ASU strikes so other students will be having general ASU strike issues and other internal strike issues your own you'll be having it with them all. and in addition to that you will also be having delays because of accreditation prepare yourself ahead of time when you watch that video you understand why there will be some kind of delay another thing is prepare for a lot of billings your school fees may not make sense to you at all they can just spring up and tell you oh, hostel is composed everybody should pay for hostel and you must pay for accreditation fee prepare yourself for all the billings that comes with being a pioneer student another thing that you suffer a lot is no past questions all this one i used to say in my videos that hey meet your seniors for past questions meet your seniors for tips and tricks sorry my dear you're a pioneer student you're a first child eh? first children don't used to have people to look up to it's people that are looking up to you so prepare yourself ahead of time for it although for this one I think uh, what you should do is find out the lecturers that are teaching you guys find out which school they were teaching in because as far as you're a new medical school your school probably uprooted that lecturer from another school and brought to your school it's less likely that that lecturer is a fresh out of college not literally fresh out of college but fresh out of atlanta kind of person no that person mo most likely was teaching in another school before that person was uprooted to your school so find out the school that lecturer was teaching in meet the students in that school and collect past questions from them get tips and tricks from them that is what i did and it helped me so tremendously well then another thing is mostly for those who are in politics it will be very difficult for you to set up your medical students association the one for my school i'm one of the pioneer executives i have done a lot of sacrifice for my msc if you want to build your msc when it's msc i mean medical students association is going to take a lot of blood not literal blood it's going to take a lot of sacrifice it will zap a lot of from you to build it when other school MSCs are preparing for health week preparing for their dinner nights your own MSC cannot do it because they are just starting to take a lot for you to go to different offices source for funds um, it's a lot so just prepare your mind ahead of time then another thing that is not so important but you should know is there'll be a lot of discomfort at that first stage your school may not have a definite hostel for you guys or a definite classroom for you guys or a definite lab or something like that it will take a while for them to build their own and furnish it so you may have to merge with another school i heard that there was some points that pioneer anatomy students used to come all the way from my preclinical campus to town to do practicals in epsu practical labs although now we have our own labs but i can just imagine traveling that long distance almost one hour distance just to be able to carry a practical starts very discomforting so prepare yourself ahead of time for those kind of situations in all these things i've said they are certainly pros though but the pros are so so insignificant and one of the pros is that you guys are not many in class your 
very few like the pioneer set in my class that they are not even up to 50. meanwhile quota is 100 so you can find that kind of thing there's no pressure school is not under pressure to drop students so if you fail it's you that failed yourself you did not fail because school wanted to reduce the number you get that conversation and then since you guys are few in class it's very nice sitting in classroom you don't need to rush to go early to get front seats you're sitting comfortably the lecturers are teaching you and you're relaxing comfortably you go for postings and you're just like five in your team in your group or more it's nice that way you're able to learn without having to stretch your neck to see what is going on in my time we assigned like 10 to one cadaver in anatomy lab so i mean if it's for that ac academic aspect for the academic aspect i know i have enjoyed my school so so much you're so few that the lecturer your consultant literally knows each of you by your name and <laughs> It's nice actually i find it very very nice to learn in, in a small group so learning it's sweet but i don't think it is worth the stress that you will go through as a pioneer student with all this point of mind i hope i've been able to convince you that being a pioneer student is not advisable if you're ready to chest what it takes to be a pioneer student no problem i wish you all the best it's going to take a while medical school is definitely not going to be six years for you except you're in a public school that has sense prepare your mind for seven years eight years and above without this if there's anything i forgot to add i'll add it while editing this video i mean your girl to my ma bye